First, Janesville city leaders are making plans for the all but officially closed GM assembly plant. It's been about six years since the plant shut down, and now the facility is part of a contractual agreement reached between United Auto Workers union leaders and GM. The assembly plant will be closed during the term of the four year agreement. It had standby status in the previous contract. The plant has stood just past downtown Janesville for nearly a century. And while the expected permanent closing is bittersweet, some city leaders told NBC 15's Lindsey Branwell that they're ready for what's next. Oh yeah, exactly, John and Lee. Officials say that they're not surprised by this decision and been preparing for it, even though GM still owns the property. Honestly, we're welcoming that decision because it gives us some closure and we can start moving forward now. The Janesville community can now grieve what appears to be the end of the line for its former automaking facility. It's a big part of our history um, and so it's not you know, taken lightly this decision. It's, it's unfortunate for the community, but I don't think that there were many people that were really optimistic. Members of the Local 95 United Auto Workers tried to stay hopeful. They fought to reopen the doors of the plant. Local 95 President Tim Silla didn't want to talk on camera. Instead, he sent out this release, apologizing for the soon-to-be shuttered windows. While he comes to grips with the news, city developers are focusing on what comes next. The pavement at the plant is worn and overgrown, but it can be redeveloped pretty easily. It's the buildings, though, over 100 years old, that the city's economic development director says will be a little more difficult. Because you have 4 million square feet of building that you need to deal with and, and figure out what do you want to reuse, if any of it. And with all the machinery in the building, there may be some environmental challenges. People have been better stewards in the more recent times than in, in the distant past. But down the line, those in Janesville are looking into what other assembly plants have changed into. That factory was turned into a casino. Another in Baltimore became a part of a shipping harbor. Unlike the machines that were once built inside the plant, these changes won't come together quickly. This is not something that's going to happen overnight. Unfortunately, this is going to be a probably a two or three year process. Already anticipating this decision, Janesville City staff recently drafted a salvage ordinance and will draft changes to the demolition ordinance for the plant's site.